Right, let's go for a trip back to the second month, 1985. And this thing is about as ridgy didge as it gets. It's a HJ60. Um, the color is 4E9 and it's really similar to the 464. Paul's got the, uh, the beige on the, on, the, on the late 40s, the 47. Um, and just look at the decals. The, the paint job on this is pretty, I, I reckon 95% original. There's a couple of little touch-ups around the back. But other than that, this thing is mint. The, um, the decals, the brown decals from its day, just make it, give it that retro look. It's got the blitties on there with the little cheese cutters. This thing just, it has a look that um, the guy's obviously going for. Um, you got the, the aluminium bar up the front. You know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but that's probably been on there since day dot with the, uh, the fishing rod holders up there. So it's got the factory bar on the back. Not much going on there, but just check out the gutters. You do not see them like this anymore. They're just very, very rare. Now, I've got to show you under the bonnet. This thing is so original. There's only a few little modifications, which I'll show you. Now, it's a really good example of what they were like in their day before people started to get involved and more wiring and, and, and pull stuff out. So, look, other than a dual bat, really simple dual battery going on here under the bonnet, which, is, which goes through a, a solenoid, which is switched by the ignition, nothing much is going on. We've got a set of extractors from, they've been on there a few years. Um, and then over there, something that we've done on it is the, um, it's got a HJ61 double diaphragm brake booster in there because his one was leaking like a sieve and causing all sorts of problems with the, the vacuum system on this 60. Now, this is one of the first ones that would have had the vacuum operated transfer case. So in, in order to engage full drive, it's a button which sends vacuum down to the transfer case. Now, if you start having problems with a booster um, and it's leaking, all of those systems, including the clutch, um, will all start to play up. So we've sorted all that out for him. Um, other than mechanically, we've serviced this, gone right through it. Um, it's got had swivel hubs and brake rotors. We've been right through the back with the bearings, um, done the UJs on it. This thing is ready to go. He just wanted to know where he was at with it. And now this thing will do um, plenty of Ks up its sleeve, man. And, and if you look at the clock, it's only got a, a 330,000 Ks. So for a 2H, that is only just run in, I reckon. Anyway, let's go and have a look inside because it's like stepping back in time. I'm blown away by the originality of the interior of this vehicle. Just check it out, man. It's like, it is honestly like stepping back in time and everything's in such good condition. I mean, you've got the dash to start with. You've got a period correct stereo in there, the inclimeter, all the switches, none of them broken. The dash is perfect apart from Someone's obviously been using the AC a lot because um, a bit of the paint's worn away underneath the button. But other than that, we've got a, a brake uh, controller for towing. And that's about it with the dash. It's just beautiful. This, you just don't see steering wheels like this anymore in that good condition. How, where, you know, where, where do I stop with this thing? Look at the seats. Now, there is not a tear anywhere in these seats. The hood lining is perfect. You know, let's just... I, I can't emphasize it enough. This um, Cameron has got an absolute beauty here. He really has. Um, and, and definitely the right guy to have it as well because he is looking after this vehicle and doing all the right things with it. Over here, we've got some cup holders that we sell here in Mr. Land Cruiser. We do these ones and we do the ones that go in the center here, give you some options because there's not a lot of cup holder space in these old 60s, that's for sure. But um, fridge in the back, a must have in the back of a 60 especially when you're going to be doing what camera is going to be doing with it but what an absolute perler right so a little bit of history on this one right so up until 11 months ago this vehicle lived in wa in perth actually spent its whole life there all the way from 1985 um, the owner over there sold it to the second owner who brought it over on some transport um, over to queensland where Cameron bought it just over 10 months ago. Now, the, the, the second owner only did 100Ks in it, so Cameron's got it pretty much fresh off of that, um, and that's why he wants to go through all the mechanicals. Um, and he's got, he's actually, he's done it right, you know, he's, this thing, he knows where it's at now, 
Um, he can go and use it, give it a shakedown, and he's going to give it a shakedown for a very good reason. His plan next year is to do a lap of Australia in this. Um, it's just such an iconic vehicle to do such an iconic trip. Um, he's got a few things to do um, before then. He's going to be thinking about suspension, a bit more of a sophisticated dual battery system with some inverters and stuff like that for his journey, but an absolute iconic vehicle to do the lap. Check it out.